So this question is a diagram question. Um, we have pretty much a scatter plot here. So I'm going to read the question to see exactly what they're asking us to figure out. So the question says, which of the following equations is the most appropriate linear model for the data shown in the scatter plot? So in essence, if I were to draw a line, a line of best fit, let's say, through these points, it will look something like this. Not exactly, but something like that. And if I wanted to then create an equation to represent that line, of course, any linear equation is going to be in the slope-intercept form on this test. So y equals mx plus b, where m represents the slope, and b represents the y-intercept. The question is, well, what would my slope be and what would my y-intercept be based upon my line of best fit? I always like to start off with the y-intercept. It tends to be the easier one to find right away. So our y-intercept is the location where the red line here would cross the y-axis. So it crosses up there for me. So looking at the answer choices, this says negative 10.1. That's definitely incorrect, right? We're more like positive 10.1, which is what choice B says, and it is what choice D says, and but choice C also has this negative 10.1. So based upon just the y-intercept alone, we have now gotten down to a 50-50 on this and crossed out two answer choices. Next is our slope. So slope is rise over run. And there's some other ways to find slope. But whenever I have a visual of my actual line, I tend to use rise over run. So I am going to, oh, well, let's see. First of all, let's see what we have. We have either a negative 1.9 or a positive 1.9. So I don't even really need to know the exact value of the slope. All I really truly care about is whether the slope is positive or negative. So if I chose a point on the line here, and I want to get to another point on the line here, I am going to the right in terms of my run. So my run would be positive. But in terms of my rise, I'm going down, right? So right and down, which means my rise would be negative. So in terms of the, in terms of the signs, at least for rise over run, I'd have a negative divided by a positive, which is a negative. So my slope should be negative, and therefore the correct answer here is choice B, because I have a negative slope and that positive 10.1 for the y-intercept. And of course, choice D would be incorrect.